No other cruise line has explored Alaska longer and more thorough than this cruise brand. They've collected awards and accolades from the world's most discerning travelers and cruise experts. Do you have an idea of who I'm talking about in the Alaska cruise space? I'm talking about Holland America. Holland was actually named the top pick for cruising in Alaska. And here are differentiators that makes Holland stick out as a top cruise line for an Alaska cruise vacation. Let's dive into it. Friends, my name is Alana Zingano, Travel the World A to Z. I'm excited to bring you today's video. You may notice that I am in a hotel and that is because I actually was had the opportunity to attend an event with Gus Anatorcha, who is the president of Holland America Line. As the preferred choice of the great land, he shared with me how Holland America sticks out. First up, let's talk about some of these itineraries. As the Alaska cruise season is getting ready to ramp up and start, we're starting early this year in 2023 with April to September is the season. And guests can embark on Holland America's cruise ships Sailing to Alaska on the Eurodam, Koningsdam, New Amsterdam, Nordam, Westerdam, and Voldam. In 2024, next year, they're going to have six, that's right, six ships sailing to Alaska as well. So you have choices. The only difference with 2024 is that instead of the Voldam, you'll have the Zandam. And hey, by the way, the Koningsdam was actually voted the top mid-sized cruise ship in 2020 by USA Today's 10 Best Reader's Choice Awards. So that's pretty darn cool as well. So let's dive into one of our first key differentiators, which is celebrating 76 years of Alaska exploration. This year will be 76 years that Holland America has been cruising to Alaska. This has really allowed them to enable travelers to discover the most authentic elements of the 49th state on board and ashore. So matter of fact, they've actually been cruising to Alaska longer than Alaska has been a state, which is like psh, mind blown <laughs> with that fact. So with that advantage, it really affords Holland the level of understanding of Alaska. They have that level of knowledge and experience and partnerships with the Alaskan community. And that really reigns to be difficult competitors to match this. So of course, with the comeback to Alaska, there's so much increased demand and everyone wants to sail to Alaska, right? Such a bucket list destination to cruise to, you gotta check it off your list. So with this increased demand in Alaska, how does being the longest operating cruise line work to us cruisers advantage? Well, Cruise ports like Juneau, Ketchikan, Skagway, those Alaskan cruise ports have capacity to how many cruise ships they can handle in a given port. There's only so many berths to where cruise ships can come in and dock and it can get kind of crowded sometimes. It's called port congestion. So luckily or fortunately because of Holland's long tenure, they have the prime berth spots on the days that are actually the most convenient for most travelers. And this kind of bleeds into where you would like to go as well with the different ports that you want to visit. And they have a lot of weekend departures, which is super convenient for us cruisers who need that time off from work. So oftentimes your holiday and vacation time will start on the weekend, which means that it's easy for you to use and cruise on those sailings. So with this increased demand for cruises going to Alaska and everyone wants to go, we're seeing other cruise lines and competitors to Holland America leaving midweek, perhaps a Wednesday, Thursday departure, that would be cruise day. And they're really trying to accommodate and fill around some of those best spots to make sure 
that they're visiting all of those major ports of call in Alaska, but having the ability to slide in because those cruise ports only have so much availability. Number two is a round trip from Seattle sailings. These itineraries are really great and there's some new ones that stand out. Now this one is particular for those who have a lot of time off. Perhaps you have the flexibility to take a 28 day Arctic Circle itinerary that includes 12 Alaska ports, longer 14 voyages as well in case 28 days isn't in your uh, wheelhouse along with 117 week-long journeys. So those are your seven-day cruises. So this really enhances Holland's position as the leader in Alaska cruising with these unique and longer itineraries. And particularly with this month-long Arctic Circle, this itinerary launches next year in 2024 and it's going to have the most immersive Holland America uh, itinerary that they've ever seen for this region. So get excited about this. Seeing these different destinations is going to be so incredible. Of course, regions and areas of Alaska are so hard to get to, and that is why cruising is such a great way to visit these hard to get destinations. It's the most value for your money when you're traveling to these far and wide destinations. And dive into legendary voyages. These are new itineraries. They've just actually launched, and it's a whole new category that's gonna lean into these unique itineraries. We're finding more of the sweet spot here with the focus of being 25 days to 59 days. Still a substantial amount at sea, but many of these round trip itineraries are from the US. So that is one of those major tips for when you are looking for affordable long cruises is making sure that it is a closed draw, meaning that it is a round trip itinerary that gives you some extra perks that you can save on airfare, which is astronomical these days. So with that distinguishing factor, we've all experienced it with that increase in travel prices just in general. So if you can knock out airfare, that's going to be really helpful. This brings me to the question of what about the size of the ships? Oftentimes, cruise ships are just getting bigger and bigger. Incredible to see what they're putting on cruise ships these days. And with having six different ships this season and next, is Holland America going to be really right for you? Well, diving into the size of these ships, these sh ships are considered a medium size. For example, the new Amsterdam, which I had the opportunity to walk on and explore a bit earlier in the week here, is 86,000 gross tonnage. It came out in 2010 and it holds 2,100 passengers. Now these bigger ships, these brand new ships that are coming out and are on the market, of course, offer such wonderful things, roller coasters at sea, all the kind of cool stuff that draws our attention. But Holland America is not that. And they're okay with that because they're focused on those guests who are looking for a different type of experience here. And so they have kind of honed in on a size of a fleet that is smaller because it allows them to get into smaller ports of call, different ports of call, more uh, off the beaten path of ports, if you will. Some of those other advantages in Alaska once you are on your cruise and it's so culturally focused on board with the experiences. And did you know that Holland America actually has more visits to Glacier Bay than any other cruise line? That's pretty cool because Glacier Bay is a main attraction for any Alaskan cruise. Every Alaska cruise includes a visit to one or more Alaskan iconic glacier destination, whether that being Glacier Bay National Park, College Fjord, Hubbard Glacier, Twin Sawyer Glacier, and Tracy's Arms. So you want to make sure that you're prioritizing those. If you've seen maybe one before and you're a returning guest, well, now for me, for example, it wasn't until my second Alaska cruise that I was able to uh, move from seeing the Twin Sawyer Glacier on my first Alaskan cruise. And then on my next Alaskan cruise, I was able to see the little bit more sought after uh, Glacier Bay along with College Fjord. Now, 
A little bit more on the length of the voyages here is a typical Alaskan cruise is seven days for those who might not know. And it's really important because for those of us who are very new to cruising here, this is the approachable uh, time off for vacation to stepping into your cruise. But Holland is actually doing something a little bit different, which is interesting, is that they're shifting more away from those seven day cruises and looking more into nine plus days. And with that, it affords them different ports of call as they can go to further destinations and pull together a different number of ports of call and where it's kind of hard to. And it's not just in the market of Alaska with uh, this Arctic Circle cruise, but increasingly emphasis on longer grand voyages. And you can see a lot of that with other premium limes as they do more seven track itineraries. So Holland America is actually being the black sheep with this and not doing with not doing this same thing that their competitors are doing, which is so interesting to see. So with them taking the opposite step, they've actually doubled their capacity in the 50 day plus market. And that has apparently been very well received from all of Holland's guests. Now, let me know in the comments if this is something that you would be interested in, in taking a 50 plus day cruise. For me, I think I would have to rearrange a lot of my schedule to make that happen. Now let's talk about some of that onboard programming for an Alaska cruise, what makes it special so you can get everything out of it. So guests can really engage with Alaska naturalists, special ex shore excursion programs that explore so many of the local topics, such as Alaska bush pilots and the famous Iditarod race and cruises to glaciers Bay and National Park Rangers will come on to teach you about the glaciers and local Huna Tinglet guides as well, locals from the area. So this really allows you to immerse yourself into the culture through these workshops and lectures and from those who know Alaska best, which is the best way to learn about any cultures from those who live there. And now one of the newest ways that Holland has stepped up with their key differentiators here on these Alaska sailings is they have now become certified sustainable in seafood. Of course, seafood is synonymous with Alaska and on any Alaskan cruise, Holland America serves, guess what? 2,000 pounds of Alaska salmon, 1,000 pounds of Alaska cod, 800 pounds of Alaska halibut, 500 pounds of Alaska rockfish. Seafood lovers know that that's a lot of seafood and Holland doesn't only want to have a cruise where you can go to these destinations and enjoy the food, but they want to do it in a sustainable way. Sustainability has really become such a buzzword today, and it's so important for when we travel to make sure that we're doing it in a sustainable way, especially for the cruise industry. So I'm so happy to hear that all six ships that will be sailing to Alaska are going to be exclusively serving certified, sustainable, and traceable, which is the key word here, Alaska seafood. It's not to say that other cruise lines don't have sustainable seafood, but it's not certified and traceable in this manner, which is really a uh, kudos and notch above. The six ships that completed this audit to make this credibility here completed an audit last summer by the Responsible Fisheries Management, RFM. So this really makes Holland America the first cruise line with this distinguished credential. So kudos to them. And while I was on board the New Amsterdam, I actually got a chance to meet culinary council chef Ethan Stowell. And he actually prepared a meal for us and a cooking demonstration, which was chef kiss delicious food here, Alaska King Salmon. And he shared his recipe for Alaska King Salmon and Salsa Verde, which was the meal we had on board. And one of the many new fresh Alaska seafood dishes, this was one of them, now served on board. So if you would like to get that recipe, you can head over to my website, Alana Singano, and I will post that up there so you can check out if you want to cook up some Alaska King Salmon before your Alaska cruise. This particular program with sustainable 
sustainability. Uh, this is a process that could be rolled out completely. So we'll see sustainability moving even further with the food. Now, if you've ever cruised on Holland America, you may know that Holland really has a service culture. They actually claim to train their crew differently than their competitors in the sense to where they're combining the size of their ships and using it to their advantage, allowing them to have their team members and crew members enable certain type of relationships on board, these genuine connections with the guest. This is the type of thing that becomes anticipatory, knowing your needs before you actually even know your need. They're bringing you whatever you need. It's caring, it's genuine, it's kind. And these type of team members will connect with these guests. What this happens is when we have this in our brain, we come back from our vacation thinking, wow, how incredible. You, those are the type of vacations where you come back and you have pictures with the crew as well because of how special they made you feel. It's like the little things of remembering uh, your name or your breakfast order or just how you're greeted in the hallway from the room attendants or whomever else from the crew you bump into. And then of course, it's kind of a no brainer, right? If you're on any of the seven, 10, 12, 25 day longer itineraries, it gives you all the more opportunity to make those connections with the crew, to really lean into all of that. And it really drives that excellent service with those team members here. So imagine being on a cruise ship that delivers premium experience designed for immersive cruising. You can have walk around decks to really take in all the ambiance of Alaska, perhaps enjoy on your veranda, the stateroom here, bringing you closer to Alaska's natural wonders and wildlife with so many different enriching programs as well to present the opportunity to learn about your culture because you don't wanna just go there. We wanna learn about it. We wanna immerse ourselves into the history and hear from authentic experts. You're gonna have the opportunity to do all of those things. So it's really to your advantage here if you take all of these key differentiators to take advantage of an Alaska cruise with Holland America. I hope you found this video fun to learn about here. And while I'm on the road sharing these things that I'm learning with you in real time as possible. So I appreciate you more than ever. Be sure to drop a comment down below if you have an Alaska cruise plan, no matter the cruise line, let me know if you're going this season. I'm excited for you. And until next time, ciao for now. Check out this playlist right here of even more. Until next time, ciao.